Hello everybody, welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to get that retro, game over, pixelated art style, video game style. We've all seen it. If you grew up in the 8-bit genre or the 8-bit years, this is all 8-bit all the way. I'll show you how to do it step by step. Let's go. All right, first step, file new. And let's just create a new artboard. Ah, 2000 by 2000 is fine. And you'll see it's got no background color, no big deal. First step is we're going to go ahead and click on this adjustment layer create a solid color and let's make a black background because that's easier to work with and see with maximize our contrast okay the next step is we're going to grab our text tool over here and we're going to type game over <laughs> game over now nah, let's just go game over no and nothing else on that now before i go any further it's very important for me to mention that in order to do this you need to have and i'm going to click here on this little a button on the character button the the font is a u t o m if I go here, I'll show you. You can get it on freeject.net. Yeah, I don't know. Here it is. But I'll put the link in the description below. But this is the font that works best, in my opinion. And I'll link it again, like I said. Okay, good. So we've added that in. Now, let's get to work and make it nice and cool looking. Step one, we're going to go down here and add a... Where is it? We're going to add in a gradient. So I want to go ahead and actually... No, I'm not clicking on that one. I'm clicking on this one, guys. And we're adding in a gradient overlay. This is the best way to do it. Now, I kind of like these colors, but you can go nuts and pick any colors you want. For me, I like this purple and blue, but I mean, if you want to go something like, like this, that looks pretty old school. You can use oranges. Oranges look great. Like that looks like a nice, yeah, there you go. That looks like a great one. So anyways, guys, the, the trick is whatever colors you use doesn't really matter too much. We'll use these ones. What you need to do is click on the gradient here. I'm going to click on that, and these are the things that matter. It's called the stops, the color stop. The color stop one is the first color that you want. So let's say we want to go with some sort of blue as the first color, and then color stop two is the second color that we're going to use. So let's go with like maybe a, let's go with a nice light pink or something like that. I don't know. Let's do something like that. There, that looks pretty cool. Now, again, you can adjust these colors as you see fit, but that's how you add in a gradient and you do a gradient overlay the proper way. Now, you can also adjust the angle depending on how you want it to look. If you want it to come from, for example, from the top left. And again, you guys can adjust these as you see fit, but this, these are the buttons then, the little nozzles that you can push to get it the way you want it to look. Let's keep going. All right, the next step is I'm gonna go ahead now and I'm gonna add a stroke to this. So for me, I'm gonna add a, let's go actually a little, let's go to a nine pixels. And I'm going to have a white stroke. So you'll see here, stroke selected, nine pixels. I've got it in the center, although it also looks good on the outside. But for me, I'm just going to keep it in the center. And there you go. I'm going to, and I'm going to use a white color. So we've added that in. I'm going to click OK. So we're getting there, OK? Now we're going to click on that button again. And this time, we're going to add in an inner shadow. Click on that. And presto, you'll see here at the top of the letters that there's a nice shadow effect now applied to it. So it's given it a 3D look. It's giving it uh, a sense of depth that maybe it didn't have in the past, in the in previous to the shadow. So there you go. Now, I've got the blend mode to multiply. I've got a distance of 25 pixels and a size of 29 pixels. But again, you guys can adjust this as you see fit depending on what you're looking for. I'll just leave it around there, but I'll just push the buttons just so you can see them. So what happens? Now, you click on that, you click on that, and you have it, guys. That's how you get that retro gaming pixel style. Thanks for watching.